Yeah, a very good afternoon to one and all. I am Dr. Nishat, uh, Associate Professor in the Department of Forensic Medicine at Ames Gorakhpur. Uh, my topic of presentation is digitization of disability certificate using technology to curtail infringement of dignity. Disability alludes to impairment and activity limitations with participation restrictions. It refers to the interaction of health condition of the individual with environmental and personal factors. The two models of disability that are the medical model and the social model are viewed as opposing ideas by staunch proponents of these models. However, disability should be seen as a medical problem in a social context with due importance to both medical and social models. Disability is promoted as biosocial model and it represents a workable compromise within the two models. Scenario in India. The disability certificate issued by competent authorities in India is heavily tilted towards medical model, whereby it gives a complete diagnosis such as cerebral palsy with spastic dysplasia, intellectual disability, and so on, or neurogenic blood. What are the problems with this such kind of certificate? The diagnosis is not essential to avail the benefits that the law accords this individual. It serves no real purpose as it is not used for treatment purposes. Rather, it may be a painful reminder to the patient that he, she has an impairment. Persons with disability may feel ashamed showing their certificates for claiming benefits such as discounts at the railway station. We advocate that it should not be now be considered under breach of privacy and propose a blinded disability certificate. Even at the Western viewpoint, in our study, we could find in three of the studies where the employers were reluctant to hire a person with spinal cord injury or Asperger's syndrome, even though the productivity of that person of that position would not have been affected by disability. Similarly, in another study, the differences in productivity did not justify the difference in remuneration between individuals with and without a disability. This is likely to be a result of discrimination. People with disability would like to have control over what information about them is shared in the public domain. In another study by Jasik 2018, it was found that what came to the light was the American College Test Organization in the United States was forwarding the information on disability to the colleges. And it alarmingly was selling it to the third party as well. So can we do without the diagnosis in the blinded disability certificate? The proposed blinded disability certificate will feature the name, address, and the biometric identification of person with a disability. Biometric identification will be in the form of machine readable chip. They will make it blinded the hard copy of the blinded disability certificate will contain eligibility for disability benefits without any mentioning of diagnosis or percentage of impairment. So this is what the concept of proposed blinded disability certificate is all about. You are coded. We can leverage the power of cloud of computing. It will be linked with a cloud-based central database through, Q, through a QR code. The central database will contain the diagnosis, the nature of disability, percentage of impairment with detailed calculation, and the functioning profile of the person according to the international classification of functioning, disability, and health. The database will have adequate data safety measures and will only be accessible by designated medical professionals subject to the consent of the person in question. Each access to the central database will require an entry in blockchain ledger. 
the diagnosis present in the existing disability certificate may be useful in guiding an employer to find the suitability of any job for the person concerned. It also helps the authorities to suitably modify the workplace architecture to achieve a reasonable accommodation. To not a disadvantage, prospective employers, the cloud-based central database will have a part of part accessible to employer. There are certain concerns and solutions related with this. This part will mention the type of suitable work profile for the person concerned and the reasonable accessibility needs in his or her workplace. It will also have a set of personalized recommendations for the prospective employers to make the workplace disability friendly, in particular for the specific person with a disability. A person with a disability may be referred to a designated medical professionals for further clarification. Another concern is for technological hurdles and that of acceptability. Initial expenditure for migrating the existing system may be high, but proposed technologies are simple and widely available at this point in time. To conclude, the disability certificate should not mention the diagnosis and the percentage. Rather, it should simply state that this individual is entitled to the benefits that the land of law accords them. Further details in part or complete will be made available through access to the central database after obtaining the consent of the person with a disability. This is all from my side. Thank you.